Hi everybody. Um, I am back with a um, another mini album share. Um, as you can see from the cover, um, it is a dog pet theme um, mini album. Um, I used the paper collection and now I threw it away guys and I can't think of what I did with it. Um, it is, I will put it in the description box down below when I remember, but I can tell you it's by Photo Pay photo play um and it is a dog theme um paper collection i'll put it in the description box down below when i remember and can figure out what it is should have had that ready all for you guys but so this um i made this particular mini album right here for um a friend of mine through social media she's a well-known author so i won't put her name out there um but she lost two dogs in within the last year and the second dog she lost was due to sickness and he was her guard dog because she had a situation um a few years ago where she had a stalker so she bought this guard dog and um he was like her best friend and so he passed away so i thought it decided to make her a mini album um, because she is a huge um, animal lover to display all of her pictures of all of her dogs but particularly the two that she lost recently so let's get into it shall we so the mini album measures a eight by i believe it's eight by nine the spine is one and a half and it is um, six pages, three double-sided pages or three hinges. Um, I use Kathy Orla's Hidden Hinge um, Plus binding system in this um, album right here, and you will see it. So here is the front cover. I doubled it up. This is this basil um, embossed dot card stock that I decided to use. This is from the paper collection. The dog bones, the paws, and the word dog is all cut out on my silhouette cameo from the silhouette store. That is what that basil card stock looks like. And here is the back. So here is the inside here. Um, like most of my mini albums, I do a pocket on the front and the back. So the front and side pocket looks like this. There is a cute little dog bone here. Here is a, and I can't get it out. Oh. Here is a cut apart, or three by four cut apart from the collection itself. And then it fits a three by four photo on the back. Here is a four by six cut apart from the collection. And I made it easy for her. So I put exactly what size photo she can put on the back of these. Here is a photo booklet. And you can see they fit five by sevens. And each of the three pages, um, the base pages are all the same. Um, <clears throat> it's just different pockets, flips, and things like that um, that are different. And these are pocket pages as well. So here is page one. Here is um, the first flip. She can journal right there. Put a picture right here. It is also a pocket here. Um, I didn't put any photo mats in here. She could just load up extra additional pictures that she has. So you flip it, and then this flips down this way, this flips up this way. Um, these hold three by fours, and this can hold a crap down five by seven or a regular four by six. Here is a pocket, and there's a cute sticker from the paper collection right there. Here is a four by four, a four by six, a three by four. Oh, so I forgot to write on that, so I gotta do that one. Here is the pull-out mat for that. If I can find my pocket. So there is plenty, even though the base pages are all the same, um, the additional things that I've added helps it look a little different. Um, and they're everywhere you can put pictures is clearly differentiated um, because she's not a huge crafter. So I wanted to make it super easy for her. So here is page two right there and it is an expanded pocket let me hold it up so you can guys can see there is it's an accordion pocket so it will hold much 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 more photo mats than i put in here as you can see it's a big pocket 
Um, here's a little fire hydrant sticker from the collection. This is a four by four. Oh, I see there are lots of photo mats that I gotta go back and put the sizes on. These are just four by sixes. And then here is a four by six photo booklet and this sticker dog on cute was really cute. So that is page two. Page three is on this side. Um, this was um, a part of the, um, the tags collection that comes with this collection by Photo Play. And um, I just glued it onto sides and then stuck it down to the flap here. And there's a sticker that says, I love my dog here. Here's some more of that basil car stock that I used. This is from the paper collection. And it says, it came to me that every time I lose a dog, they take a piece of my heart with them, and every new dog who comes into my life gives me a piece of their heart. If I live long enough, all the components of my heart will be dog, and I will become as generous as loving as they are by Anonymous. So I put that there because that um, describes my friend perfectly with her love for her pets, so that's why I put that there. Here is a three by three. And this was cut um, with uh, my silhouette. As you can see, there are cutouts of little dog bones here, which matches the paper I used. And then here is a four by four photo mat, and this is just um, another from the tax collection. It says, hug your dog. Remember, this is also a pocket, so she can stick more photos. If you flip it, here's a sticker from the collection, and I just left this blank, so if she wants to write about her dogs here, she can. Or if, like I said, a five by seven, um, a four by six, um, a four by four and a three by four can fit here as well so there's different combinations for these little flaps over here um there is space for um a four by six or two four by fours here move it over once you flip it over here i like this cute the the polaroids with the dogs on there so i just left this plain and she can put however many pictures she wants here um on this side is a little pocket here there's another sticker of a dog wears glasses. I thought that was cute. And um, the word that says wiggle butt, because we all know that's dog, dogs, what they do. This says best dog ever. Here's a four by four. And here is a four by six. Here is the, oh, I'm gonna have to fix that guys. Add some extra glue on that. But here is the four by six. That's what that looks like. Put that back in there. <laughs> there we go. And then here is page four, and it is a belly band. Um, instead of vertical, I have it going horizontal. Here's another one of those pieces from the, um, that tags collection. It says, hey, you, this belly isn't going to rub itself. And I thought that was really cute. And there's another little sticker down here that says hashtag dogs rock. Here is a four by six, a four by four. And then instead of, it is a photo booklet, but it's done a little differently. Here's another sticker from the collection. And it all opens up like this and like this. So she could literally put a crop down four by four here, or three by four, but it literally holds one, two, three, four, five, four by sixes. And it just folds up that way. So it's a cute way to display a lot of photos in a small section. And then here is page five. It's another pocket up top for more pictures. This says, I love dogs. And it's just a little sticker for another little dog. Flip over, there's another little sticker here. Um, more room for more photos. This is more room, this flips up like that. And then um, this paper was cute as well, so I left it blank. Here is the pocket photo mat that looks like that and then the sticker tabs also came from the paper collection as well that goes in like that and then you flip it over and then you have the last page um here is an on the page pocket looks like that here's another one of those three by threes that i use with my silhouette here is a three by four here is a four by four and then there's room for her to journal or to add a four by six because this will fit a four by six perfectly. Um, here are two flaps. They flap that way. There's more of that card, basil, embossed cardstock. It says, I love my dog. My kids have paws. 
but if you flip it up this way there is more room here and you flip it down like that there's more room there so it's more room for journaling and photos you flip both of these over um, here is a little banner that says bark and a little tuck spot and then there's just a four by six that is tucked in there like that this is magnetized so it won't be going anywhere and then here is the back pocket looks exactly the same as the front here is the three by four here is a four by six another four by six cut apart and then here is a five by seven booklet so that is this photo album guys sorry like I mentioned before this one isn't for sale um, it's just an album share and then I will be back in a couple of days with another album share bye bye